Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics. I'm gonna do a little summer tub update on all my tubs. We're gonna start off here at John's apartment balcony. Let's check this out a little closer. So this summer tub is doing really well. I got some flowers planted around. The, now the orchids does, has not bloomed since, but the, the water hyacinth is doing very well and the creeping jenny. Of course, these are very simple plants, very easy to grow plants, I should say, which is why I wanted to choose it here. And this sword plant, I never got, doesn't stay down in the substrate and I can see that there's some growing immersed so I'm gonna leave that alone and let the sword plant lie on its side and see what happens growing immersed. So this tank has a lot of guppy and a lot of fry in it. Let's see if we can see some oh yeah I don't even have to look very hard. You can see them which is awesome. This is the out of control creeping Jenny and that's how I like it. Lots of guppy fry. Very happy with this balcony tank. Did a little how to project. I'm gonna link it above. I started off with pansies, but then it got so hot, I went to zinnias, so they, they'll shoot, grow, and flourish. And I use this water to water them every time I do a water change. So let's go check out the summer tubs at my house. Let's go take a look. So two of my tubs are breeding awesome. This one, not so much. All my CPDs, I did scoop a couple out that didn't make it. Okay, so even though this is the one that we started with the CPDs, you recall they didn't do so well. Now I have some golden mollies in here. There's one, I got two females. Hi, babe. Two females and a male. It's nice and simple. I love it. Some water hyacinths, creeping Jenny, all coming in good, all doing well. I have Anubias and a couple other plants on the bottom. These mollies are doing well. I see two. I'm going to pull this up. I want to make sure there's three. Okay, there's three. And there's three gold mollies in here. Very beautiful. Two females and a male. So that's the blue summer tub, doing well. Over here, we have our white cloud tub, which I absolutely love. I also have some water hyacinths, a light colored creeping jenny, regular creeping jenny. I also have a lily in here. And then this, I always forget what this is. Oh, this is Rotala Indica. So this is the, this is the Emers version of Rotala Indica, red. I also have some crypts in here in a little pot that I pu pulled out. I didn't put in substrate. Now these tubs have gone through quite a bit. Oh, and I got some frog bit and tons of fry. So that's very good. Just saw a whole bunch of fries, so I'm seeing if you can see them. There it is. One. Oh, I see several. Oh, I see lots. Lots and lots and lots of fry. Oh, I'm so happy. I'll hold the camera still. Hopefully, you'll be able to see them going around. So tiny. Did I show you guys this filter? I think I did. Yeah, it's just a big sponge filter filled with bio balls and a little filter that, a pump that pumps up the water, keeps the water circulating. So this bin, the, all three bins have gone through a severe flood. We had some pouring rain and flash flooding. I came out here and tried to uh, hook up a siphon. I siphoned out of here into a basket so I didn't lose any fry, I'm trying to keep the water level low. 
This one siphoned out really well. This one has a hole drilled in the side I drilled last year, which seemed to work out really well. The, it came out the sides faster, and those fish are bigger than the hole, so that's good. They, they don't have any fry yet. So now this summer tub just has some regular guppies and some croaking grammies I got at my fish club's auction. I've got some mint my daughter brought home, hyacinths, brush, curly brush. Uh, I forget what this is. If anybody knows what this is, let me know. I really like it. It's growing out nice and full. And then some creeping Jenny in a fallen over tub. <laughs> and my lily. I, I grew, I'm trying to grow my lilies out here and then move them over to the pond. I wasn't sure how the koi were going to be. I also have some hornwort. Is it hornwort? Name of it. It's not anacaris, is it? In this tank, so, and there's tons and tons of guppy fry. Let's see if I can do a close up if you can see. There's a big mama. I'll scoop some out so I can see what, what kind of fry and what they look like. Well, there's lots of fries in here. So, those are the three summer tubs that I'm breeding in and so this is the summer tub that my friend called and said oh I have a tub if you want to come get it so I went and grabbed it and a whole bunch of these rocks we dug it up out of the yard pulled it out it was in great condition All right, guys, look what I have. Somebody called and said I got a pond, which I'm calling a summer tub, if you want to come get it out of my yard. What? You know I was here in this little tiny car. Where do you see all the rock I got in the trunk and the floor? And oh my goodness. <laughs> so I got this tub home out of my car and I'm gonna figure out where am I gonna put it. There's a couple places I can put it, but my main goal is to make sure that I got flowing water. I didn't want to use electricity, so I'm still trying to figure out how do I get air in there without electricity. And I don't know as I can, because I want to put it out front. But we'll see. I'm going to scrub it down before I start using it. There's lots of rock. I got lots of rock. It's in my car. Half is in my car, half I brought out. There's some of them. All these rocks I just picked up on this friend was like this I gotta get rid of them you want them especially that one's a beauty um, I'm gonna be making a turtle enclosure let me show you where I'm gonna put it where I think I'm going to put it because my mind changes quite often so over here on the side of the house I'm gonna use that fence I'm gonna add in another fence here and inset the pond and up here have a nice sandy area so they could bask here, they could bask in the pond, but it'll be an enclosure. I want to keep it simple, maybe a little bit smaller than four by eight, a little bit smaller than four by eight so that I can um, create a lid for it. So when I have to run out, it's the predators I worry about, not just the animal predators, well, the two-legged predators. We've had quite a few, uh, a neighbor down the road, somebody jumped her fence and stole her turtles. I'd be like so upset if somebody did that. Oh, look at you. This is Frankie and Johnny. I wasn't going to introduce them that, but you guys can see. They went through a horrible flood. Oh my gosh, it was all the way up to here. I had to drain it down. I love these guys. So thanks for checking out my summer tubs. The one at John's apartment and my three summer tubs here. I'm not gonna call the turtle tub a summer tub. So I'm not breeding them yet.